There's a lot of progress happening at Muni, from the classic white paint on the clubhouse to the classic elements on the course. Thanks to you and your donations for the first phase of this project. Construction on the course is halfway complete and the course will be ready for play this fall. All greens on the course have been rebuilt and the first is now the largest green on the course and represents the double plateau template, one of C.D. McDonald and Seth Rayner's famous ideal holes inspired by the great courses of the British Isles. In fact, from this location on the course, you will see three of these templates, Eden, Double Plateau, and Punch Bowl. After facing the course's largest green on number one, the player is faced with the smallest green on the course at the second hole, arguably Muni's toughest par five. Inspired by the 11th at St. Andrews and known as Eden, the fourth is the first par three on the course and features a newly constructed pond near the tee and an expanded green that sits perched above bunkers both right and left. The greatest progress on the course can be seen on holes 10, 17, and 18 where the tees, fairways, and greens have all been grassed and grow in has begun. New fairway bunkers on all three of these holes will get your attention off the tee but the wider fairways provide plenty of space to play golf. Undoubtedly, the biggest visual change to the course comes on holes 11 to 14, where unencumbered views of the Stono River greet the player with the downhill par 3 11th and across the newly restored wetland and pond that these holes surround. The 13th hole is the benefactor of the pond expansion, using the fill material to elevate the hole more than four feet above the previous elevation, which was prone to tidal flooding. This hole is another classic template inspired by the road hole 17 at St. Andrews. This corner of the course features some of the most famous template holes from Redan, Cape, Road, and Short. 11 through 14 are sure to be equally memorable and challenging. The new pond down the right side of number 15 is an intimidating sight off the tee, but fairway abounds down the left where a safe tee shot may leave you faced with maneuvering around the large live oak that protects the left side of the fairway. The green features two rear shelves separated by a swale and provides a dramatic end to a hole that provides views of the Stono River over the entire 520 yard journey. New to Muni, the short game area. It will feature a nine hole putting course and a three hole short course that can be played in two directions. The practice grounds will provide a place for all of those who want to learn the game and a training ground for hours of practice for the experienced player in search of the next great shot. Our work here is just beginning and it's up to all of us to see the mission through and continue to improve this low country treasure. We've begun fundraising on our next phase and the Friends of the Muni are committed to seeing the clubhouse at Charleston Municipal become the civic center it was always intended to be, a place for all residents of Charleston and all of our guests. For y'all,